वेलकम टू ची वाई एस हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल सो फ्रेंड्स एज यू नो दैट आर चैनल वी आर कवरिंग द सिलेबस ऑफ यू पी एस सी सिविल सर्विसेज एंड फॉर दैट पर्पज वी हैव स्टार्टेड मल्टीपल सीरीज ऑन आर चैनल दैट आर प्रिलिम्स ओरिएंटेड एज वेल एज मेन्स ओरिएंटेड सो द प्रिलिम्स ओरिएंटेड सीरीज वट वी डू इन दिस सीरीज वी डेली कवर फाइव क्वेश्चन ऑफ ईच टॉपिक सो करेंटली वी हैव सिक्स प्रिलिम्स ओरिएंटेड सीरीज so the uh, six topics that are covered in in these series are ancient india medieval india modern india environment polity and geography so what we basically do in these series we daily cover five questions of each topic and uh, in this manner we cover the six six uh, topics with, with 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 five questions each so approximately daily we cover 30 questions so you can uh, we, uh, so we will be continuing this series till 31st may so why the date chosen has been 31st may because on 2nd june is your prelims of 2019 and we will end the series only one day before your prelims exam so friends uh, <coughs> if you want to be confident in your prelims exam then do uh, then do watch these series it they will be very beneficial to you and uh, and we on for example we are on the lecture number 15 of medieval india so we we will be covering today five questions of this in this manner we do we do we do, we do coverage of other topics as well for example already of environment we have covered 47 lectures so if you want to be uh, confident in your selection then do follow us regularly on this uh, on this uh, initiative so let's see what are the questions of today the already the first question is before in uh, you on your screen the first question is with regard to philosophy of advaita consider the following statements first is it is be it believed in non dualism second it rejected path of bhakti third it believed in salvation through knowledge that is gyan so which of the following statement is correct so friends let me tell you that advaita philosophy yes first statement is correct it believed in non dualism it didn't believed in dualism rather it said that the soul the god and the all created things are one and only one thing and there is nothing there nothing that is different there will there, there might be apparent differences but they are all ultimately they are all the parts of one one supreme being so this is the advaita philosophy so first statement is correct regarding second statement front second statement is incorrect because let me tell you that shankara uh, uh, the propounder of uh, of uh, advaita philosophy he 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 was a he was a bhakti saint so he 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 said that the he he he, he pronounced advaita philosophy and at the same time said that the bhakti uh, bhakti can lead to salvation but but the precondition uh he he laid down was that uh, that only the the salvation can takes place through knowledge yes one can attain uh, one can attain the salvation through bhakti but that salvation only comes after once one, the one has gained the knowledge of the vedas so this is the this is the advaita basically the, the, in in the advaita philosophy the fountain head of knowledge has been created the vedas so third is it believed in salvation through knowledge yes so as as i have told you that santra charya propounded advaita philosophy so third statement is also correct because it believed in salvation through knowledge and this knowledge comes through through the vedas <coughs> so vedas are considered fountain head of knowledge in the advaita philosophy so we so which of the following is correct the b statement is correct that is one and three only as the second statement is incorrect it uh, this uh, advaita philosophy it didn't rejected the path of bhakti for for example in case of San shankara so let's see what is the explanation of this uh so here we we solution is second statement is incorrect also already i have provided you that the advaita philosophy promoted by shankara also called the doctrine of non dualism and did not rejected the path of bhakti so he propounded that god and soul and the created world are both one at the practical level and there may appear to be differences but at the pramarthik level so but they actually in actual practice there are no real differences now let's come to the second question the second question is with reference to the sufi movement in india uh, consider the following statements first is the bashara tradition could not become significant in uh, in india as it followed the islamic law um in bracket is sharia second is chisti and surawardi silsilas were part of bashara tradition 
so friends let me tell you that the sufi movement uh, has uh, sufi school has two schools under it that is bashara and beshara and bashara follows the islamic law whereas beshara doesn't uh, doesn't follow it ardently and it sometimes also uh, it, it differs from the shariat shariat law so they, there are two traditions in sufi movement that is bashara and beshara b e that is b e shara so let uh, the, uh, let me tell you that the bashara tradition uh it, the first statement is wrong the bashara statement did gained an uh, a prominent place uh, it did get a prominent place in india and it it was quite popular among among indian sufi saints and yes it was true it is that this was true and regarding the second statement friends that is chisti and suri sura were these silsilas were part of bashara tradition then yes this statement is correct the chisti order as well as the sura were the order of the sufi movement they part the, they form part of the bashara tradition of sufism so both the statements are correct so the correct answer is both 1 and 2 that is c so no, sorry sorry first statement is incorrect so the because it uh, here it it is it is saying that it it was not significant but yes it was significant in india so the first is incorrect so only one statement is correct so the answer is second only that is solution is b so let's move on to third question the explanation of only first question is provided to you rest of the explanations if you want to get then you can subscribe to our explanation pdfs what are these i will explain to you later the third question is with reference to virashaiva tradition in medieval india consider the following statements first is the movement was led by a brahmana named basvana the second is the movement opposed worship of shiva in the form of linga uh, third is the movement encouraged remarriage of widows which of the which of the uh, statements given above is correct so friends let me tell you that first statement is correct that it was led by a brahmana whose name was uh basavana so that is correct so it was a basically movement that popular that gained popularity in karnataka regarding the second statement friends second statement is incorrect because they supported the worship of shiva in the form of lingya so they were they are sometimes called the sometimes referred to as lingyats also so second statement is correct so uh, the second statement is incorrect regarding the third statement the movement encouraged remarriage of wood, widows Yes, friends. This is also correct. It it encouraged certain practices which were which were opposed in Dharma Shastras. So it it it, it this Vaishnava uh, Virashaiva tradition encouraged these practices, sir, which were against the Dharma Shastras sometimes. So which of the following option is correct option? As only one and third option is uh, statement is correct, then the correct option is B. That is solution is B. And what uh, in detail what that what is Virashaiva tradition? and who was basavana and what were what were what were the, what are the features of uh, this tradition and what were the things that they basically supported all these things are mentioned in explanation pdfs so if you want to subscribe to them do let me know the i will tell you the procedure how to subscribe them fourth is with reference to amra naika officers during the vijayanagar empire consider the following statement so friends already we have covered a question in our previous lectures about amar naikas so uh, this is the, this is a repeated one question but but with little bit of a change so let's see what is what is it the first statement is the title of amara naikas was given to the military commanders only second is they were responsible for collection of taxes from peasants third is they had to maintain a stipulated contingent of horses and elephants so which of the following statements is correct we have to tell so let me tell you friends that all these statements that is amra naikas was was given to military commanders only this statement is correct because the title was given only to military commanders regarding the second statement second second statement is also correct friends they were responsible for the collection of taxes from peasants and also from other craftsmen they collected taxes they kept some with uh, the some amount with them and uh, and pa passed off the rest of the amount to the to the um, uh, to the king to the king and third is also correct they were they were have to be they were have to maintain a stipulated contingent of horses and elephants that is all, all these statements are correct so the correct answer is d so the solution is d so now friends this is all about your today's lecture of medieval india if you liked it please like it please share it with your friends and please do subscribe to our channel and do not forget to press the bell icon so if you want to subscribe to the explanation pdfs of uh, of our of our these these series you can whatsapp us at this the given number that is 8968426481 so this is the number given here i am just darking it so
सो यू कैन यू कैन वट डू यू व्हाट्सएप है और यू कैन व्हाट्सएप अस एट दिस गिवन नंबर एंड देन यू यू हैव टू डू सम फॉर्मेलिटी एंड आफ्टर दैट यू विल बी सब्सक्राइब टू द टू आर इनिशिएटिव दैट ऑफ डेली एम सी क्यूज सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट फ्रेंड्स टूडेज वीडियो थैंक यू थैंक यू